As we get into the winter cold and flu season, you're going to hear more and more about RSV. RSV is short for respiratory syncytial virus. And by the time a child is two or three years of age, many, many children have had RSV. It looks very much like the common cold, coughing, wheezing sometimes, and patients having runny nose and having an elevation fever. And it can last for several weeks. Patients with asthma may have serious, serious symptoms and have shortness of breath, tightness in their chest, and difficulty breathing. And if that's the case, certainly you want to call your doctor because asthmatic patients are a much greater risk for serious complications. And in some cases, unfortunately, a child may have to be hospitalized to give them further intensive treatment. It's really important that you uh, monitor your child to see if there's any increase in their respiratory symptoms. The problem that we run into very often with RSV is that the patients uh, can get very sick very, very quickly. So these patients uh, that we see need to be monitored very, very closely. In fact, there has been some evidence that patients who have RSV as an infant will go on to develop asthma. Now, RSV is, can be very contagious, and so you should do the measures you normally do to prevent spread of RSV, sterilizing and wiping down surfaces such as on tabletops and also on bathroom uh, sinks and even on little toys that your child may come in contact with. So be aware of RSV. Call your doctor if the symptoms become severe, but be aware of the fact that in many cases, and in most cases, patients can be treated and can do very well.